welcome to your daily tarot reading. This is for Saturday the 11th of March. Let's have a look at what's coming up today. Oh, that's always a very positive sign. Wow, okay. So we have the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is, as far as I'm concerned, the most positive card in the deck. It represents a wedding, a celebration, good times and happiness. You can see all that yellow there. It's about joy and enthusiasm and positivity. These two people have just got married, so they're celebrating. Everyone else in the town is celebrating along with them. The, they are part of this community and there's um, a generalized sense of joy and happiness. And people are kind of taking part in the revelry, in the good times, in the happiness. Now, what on top of this is that this is a gate card. You can see that walking through these ones, you're moving into a new chapter in your life that is more positive and that is more celebratory. Also, if you look at this in the sense of it being a digital clock, it says 1111. It's about a new start. It's about an important new beginning. So that's interesting, especially in conjunction with yesterday's reading, because yesterday was about really making an effort to build something um, solid and long term in your life and really uh, using your energy to do that. And today you're moving through this doorway into a happier period of your life. And that takes me to the Five of Pentacles in reverse, which says that this is a period of your life that is much easier than it has been so far. When the card is this way around, it's about struggle. These two have been rejected, they're out in the cold, they're, they're ill, they're together and supporting each other, but times are tough, okay? It's in reverse, so you don't experience any of those tough aspects of life. You're not going to struggle. You're really connected to the joyous, fun, positive sides of life. And actually, it's interesting, I've never seen it like this before. But these two are the before, and that's the after. Okay, or this is the same couple. This is them when they're struggling, and this is when they're happy. So this is what you're aligned with today. There's a real sense of joy and enthusiasm and celebration, and hardship is nowhere to be seen. You're not going to find this day particularly difficult. And then finally, we have the King of Wands. And the King of Wands is about passion and desire and life purpose and really doing the things that you care about and love. So we've got this loving couple here that's just got married. And we've got the King of Wands who is all about desire and passion. So it's a great day for romance and love. And there's not going to be a particularly difficult time here between the two of you. You're going to have a good time. You know, even if this card was this way around, it would still be a day of love and romance because regardless of how hard things are for them, they're still together. They're still kind of holding fast to each other and they're supporting each other through thick and thin. So it's when times are good and when times are bad, they are still together. So even this way, it would have been romantic. The good news is that it is in reverse, so things aren't going to be particularly tough. This is a wonderful day to celebrate and to spend some time with your loved one, with someone you care about. It doesn't have to be necessarily a romantic partner. It can be a friend who you really care about, or it can be a family member who you really care about. Anyone who you feel close to, who you feel um, a sense of kind of connection with, and where you can have a good time together and do something that you actually want and that you enjoy and that you feel passionate about. So really important. It is a Saturday as well. So most people on a Saturday uh, don't have to work. If you have the um, time and the um, resources to get out and do something fun, then do it. It's, you know, life is short. These days do come along once in a while, but when they do come along, it's really important to make the most of them and to do something with them and to actually enjoy yourself and have a good time. So go to a theme park or go to a museum or go bumper carding or whatever it is that you enjoy and really, really have a good time and just make the most of it and have a fabulous, enjoyable day. Number wise, we've got four and five is nine and one is 10. 10 reduces to one in numerology and one is about new beginnings and being a leader and pioneering things and doing things um, off your own back. So if you want to have a great time, you've got to plan it. You've got to actually go out and leave the house and do something that you enjoy. And that's all you need to do. The rest is being 
provided to you by the universe. And if you show up, it's very likely that you're going to have a wonderful, fabulous experience on this day. So that's so nice to see. I hope you have a fab, fantastic day. I hope you have a wonderful time. If you would like a private reading with me, then please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and I'll speak to you tomorrow.